Hey folks, just trying to help folks out with their mountain bike. I got a specialized carbon comp, full suspension as you can see. And the creeks have been driving me nuts. It obviously needs service. I use it a lot. I kind of ride it hard and uh, don't maintain it maybe as often as I should, but I'd rather ride than maintain. So she has to take a beating to live here. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys what's going on, maybe help some folks. All right, taking my front fork off, my suspension fork, the Rock Shock, um, turned out to be a little challenging. I've replaced these head bearings before, but I just wanted to give some folks some tips that I ran into. Um, these bearings, obviously there's a bottom one and a top one with this sleeve. And this aluminum sleeve, obviously it was on the bike this aluminum sleeve was jammed down into the bearing, so it was very difficult to uh, get off. But what I had to do is I had to tap the top of this to get it out of the tube here gent gently in a wooden block so I don't damage anything. And I disassembled it, of course, first uh, in terms of nuts and bolts. And then I tapped it, got about a quarter inch of spare room of slack. So then I was able to put the bottom of the forks up on the workbench see if i can pan back here and to take some weight off of it and get the uh, fork pushing up into the frame there so i got some slack up here where i'm pointing and then i was able to tap with a little wooden block where i was hitting the bearing was stuck on here and it was inside the bike so i was tapping around the bearing and knocked it off now basically these bearings are shot it's the second time i'm replacing them but like I said, I think I ran, uh, ran it into a stream and she got submerged. That usually does them in a good full submersion. Anyway, just trying to show you guys some tricks there. I cleaned this tube up real well, this uh, fork tube. With a little bit of steel wool on it, gentle steel, super fine, just cleaning here with some W40. Then a degreaser, got her nice and clean. I use your classic uh, simple green professional good on metal surfaces and so forth but just wanted to show you some of the parts and pieces to help folks out so we had that top bearing which i, I mentioned here this aluminum sleeve and then we had the uh where the bearing rides on the bottom this one the bigger bearing this bearing rides on that um so these are uh wasted in my opinion i'm just going to chuck them because this bearing came apart as you can see the sleeve popped off so my bearing was open to the elements now but um you can order these uh, i'm gonna go back and try to help you guys find out where i ordered these because they're a little bit special they got some sort of special taper or something i think i can't remember if this is these or the crank bearings but anyway once you get it apart um i'm doing the full suspension now because of these creeks driving me crazy it sounds like i'm riding a old rocking chair around the trails it creaks so much um but i'm obviously taking apart all of this stuff the back shock it's filthy it's not i've never had it fully disassembled and all these little pieces i'm kind of keeping them it together in order of taking them off first off second third off these little inserts and i'm going to clean up all these things i don't think i need to replace these bearings right now but I'm going to try to clean them up without getting them saturated with anything that'll penetrate their seals. So in terms of on the bike, some of the helpful things, I use a bungee cord to protect my cables. And then on the back, I used a rope to keep my wheel up. Obviously, when I took that rear suspension off right here, I got nothing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bother with this back one or not. Doesn't, you know, you know no doubt I'll probably put it back together. A damn thing will creak, but... Um, I'm going to just do this main area this time around and see what happens. And I'll get back to you guys on uh, maybe some other things, but I think I will get rid of the creek. I think my creek existed somewhere in here. I'm pretty sure my crank is okay because I replaced that not too long ago. The submerging, this, uh, when I submerged it in the water, I killed that. She froze up when I got a little bit of a rest in the rainy season when I couldn't ride much. Um, and then she was frozen. But anyway... I'll uh, try to update you as we go. This again is a specialized full suspension carbon fiber. I think it's a carbon comp FSR. Uh, I think it's, what is it, the stump jumper? I forget. 
anyway, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll get this thing back together and cleaned up. Thanks.